Yes, the new star of the show will be a younger version of the old friend, a third generation 2011 Toyota Prius. And yes, I know what you are thinking, there is nothing really exciting about this. But let me tell you, the stunning blue metallic color hiding huge amount of heavy spurs and deep imperfections all around and that makes this Prius an ideal candidate for many projects and videos to come. As you can see, the car has been covered with grime, road film and bird poo, so let's give this the very first path and you will see how bad the paintwork really is once the surface will be clean until the end of this video. Starting with the wheels, I splash a bit of Surfax HD in a bucket of water, which usually gives me more suds, lubricity and cleaning power. Obviously, a bucket of clean water should be enough here, but I like to have it this way. The main chemical I'm using today is Labo Cosmetica Primus, that is a multi-purpose foam pre-wash diluted 1 to 10 in the first generation MTM Hydro PF22 foam cannon. I wanted to use something that is versatile enough to use on the wheels as well as for pre-wash on the bodywork and Labo Cosmetica claims that Primus can be used either with a dispenser or a foam gun, although they recommend using different dilution ratios depending on the areas and the way you want to use it. Just to get an idea, for wheels and tires, they recommend a dilution ratio from 1 to 3 to 1 to 10 in a sprayer kind dispenser, while with a foam cannon, 1 to 5 for winter dirt and 1 to 10 for summertime. Unfortunately, I only have 100ml of Primus, so I choose Simplicity by using that 1 to 10 in the foam bottle, because I didn't want to work out such a small amount of different mixtures. So, please be aware of that, I use much weaker dilution ratio than Labo Cosmetica recommends on their label, either for wheels or for winter grime in general. However, I still expect great results, but this is something that I want you to keep in mind during the process. I also mention this, because the tire walls are pretty much battered, and I have kind of felt this dilution might be too weak for take care of them with only one hit. So, I already have RR Customs tire and rubber cleaner prepared on the side of the bucket, just in case it will be needed. I use various brushes for the barrel, face and arch, but one thing I hate about this car, and I don't know how you feel about this, but cleaning carpet wheel arches is something that I really don't like. It could be because I haven't found the perfect mat hood or accessories just yet, so any of your recommendation is highly appreciated and thank you in advance. Once I've got through the process, I do a second hit with the tire cleaner and that works and acts sort of the same way as ADBS tire cleaner which by far my personal favorite in this category. However, minor things like design and the spray trigger are somehow better for my preferences but at the end of the day these things don't matter too much in relation with the performance of both. Foams up nicely, the smell is great and the cleaning power is also decent. The tires needed this second hit in my opinion, although the situation clearly not as bad as I thought it would be. Moving on with the pre-wash snow foam, I haven't rinsed off the car prior to this, mainly because I didn't want to dilute the foam any further. Also, if Primus will do a decent job by losing up the traffic film enough, I believe the same kind of result can be achieved with less effort. Obviously, when you make your own decision in this question, try to use common sense, so if the surface heavily soiled with dirt, muck, etc., skipping pre-rinse doesn't really an option in my opinion.
Labo Cosmetica Primus, meant to be a wet kind of snow foam, so if you are looking for pure satisfaction by a thick snow foam, this is not the product you will enjoy for sure. Even though I personally like thick snow foams in general, I have to admit, if the foam is too heavy, it falls off way too quickly, which really doesn't do anything good for your pre-wash. So, for best efficiency, you need a foam with sort of like a milkshake density that is able to cling on the surface for a reasonable amount of time, while falling down slowly and able to loosen up the traffic film of the dirt sitting on your car. As you can see, the density of Labo Cosmetica Primus pretty much ticks those boxes I was talking about earlier. My original plan was to show you the surface dried off after the pre-wash stage, but mother nature giving me the middle finger with this rain. So, I have no other choice but let you down with only a few words of my experience. Overall, Primus has a nice scent, which always a plus for me, also did a fairly decent job in my opinion even with lower dilution ratio. If this type of snow foam is your cup of tea, I can easily recommend you to give Primus a go and I don't think you will be disappointed. Seems and feels a high quality product, also it is detergent free of caustic salts and has specific certifications as well as other products in the range of the brand. Obviously, the price of Primus keeps this product more in the premium range, however, they offer sample size bottles which I think is great, but this is something you need to decide where to go or don't. The second main product in this video is Maguire's Wash Plus Shampoo, which I have tried in the past and I personally really really like. However, this isn't the kind of shampoo I would recommend for everyday use. What makes this product special on the market? Well, the claims of Maguire's includes really big promises here, like removes bugs, crimes, tar and light scuff marks, but the biggest one is that this also improves the appearance of paintwork thanks to the micro-abrasive polishing agents. So basically what they say, you can do everything with this shampoo all in one step. I hope you won't believe this possible, but because the properties this shampoo have, of course other than just marketing promises, it really makes this product extraordinary and I highly recommend to have this in your arsenal, doesn't matter you are an enthusiastic or professional. The things I highly rate when using this product are the followings. 1. It has the capability of stripping off or at least degrade existing waxes or sealants, which I think is great, especially if you are planning to apply new protection. Two. Yes, it helps to remove bugs, rotor and other contaminants on a certain degree, which I would say is better than nothing, but it won't do a miracle, nor making you skip further decontamination steps like using different chemicals and clay whatsoever. Yet, in case you don't intend to do any decontamination steps at all, but you still want to apply new protection, which by the way I am about to do, then this shampoo is a good option if you accept its limits. Don't lose track. Third and last reason, it produces an awful lot of suds that I fell in love to. And yes, you relatively use more shampoo than usual, but this thanks to those special polishing agents and agitation movements, what Maguire's recommends for the sake of best results. And to be honest, the usage style of putting the product directly on the wash mitt and working in with circular motions makes perfect sense, even though this is exactly the opposite way what you used to do.
For the sake of a sudsy shot, I have put a few drops of wash plus into the bucket of water, then foam it up, but this action was absolutely unnecessary. One bucket of fresh water for rinsing out the meat pure each time washing a section or panel is more than enough. But shaking up the bottle for at least 20 to 30 seconds before putting it on the meat is key because the nature of the ingredients in this shampoo. All in all, these suds have been really holding up throughout the whole contact wash that I think is very impressive and as you can see the paintwork is pretty much flat so in this scenario it really had making things easy even though I believe I haven't had any layer of protection left pure to the contact wash. But there was a few occasions when I used this product only for the purpose of removing existing protection which Maguire's Wash Plus did by ease. Before drying off the car, I wanted to have something applied on the wheels, so I thought, give diamond coat from Cosmic Detail a go. This is a spray-on, rinse of kind of formula, sort of a wet coat, that I think is ideal during winter times. Hence the ease of use, simply spray it on a wet surface, let it well for a minute or so and rinse it off. The performance it has, I would say is decent enough, although this is the very first time I'm using this product so it's hard to form a deeper opinion just looking at on the wheels but ease of use wins for me now. Drying of the car with the towel confirmed me the same thing I have mentioned before about the level of decontamination. The paintwork is still rough to the touch also I can feel this under the towel as well, but like I said, it is better than nothing. I have a fairly clean but sticky surface and leaving or remaining decontamination on the paint will definitely affect the longevity of protection I will apply. But this situation can show you what you can expect longevity wise from a protection kind product on a surface like this. With that said, let me show you how bad the paintwork really is and I'm yet to find the proper word to describe what you can see, but surprisingly I'm quite happy with this scratchy hell, like I mentioned, ideal candidate for future projects, started with the upcoming video that is all about Autoglim Super Resin Polish because I wanted to see how much that will improve a surface that badly needs a proper correction. If you would be interested to see that as well as other car related content, please consider to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, take care and see you there.